Okay, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Makha Hakudash. I want to say Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Macha HaKadash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world calls God and Jehovah. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the only begotten Son, whom the world calls Jesus Christ and Yeshua. And Bahashim, Macha HaKadash is Hebrew for in the name of the Holy Spirit. Because as commanded, I come to you in the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect members of the nation of Israel. Those of you who are of Negroid and Native Indian descent, of North, Central, and South America, the Caribbean Islands, Alaska, and Canada. Also spread throughout the four corners of the earth due to the scattering done to our nation by the Heavenly Father himself. Unto the elect of you, I say Shalom. And Shalom being a Hebrew word for peace. So peace to the hopeful elect. Uh, today's video, I will be highlighting this article that I came across on RT News published just today. January 2nd, 2020, the year of prophecy. And as you can see from the title, it is dealing with so-called unidentified flying objects. Okay. Now, this just, just this past year, 2019, there has been countless sightings, countless sightings of uh, so-called UFOs. But these uh, 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 divine celestial bodies that are in the heavens that are being filmed by people all across the world are not unidentified they are identified in the holy bible okay and i'm going to show you that in this video but um without any more delay let's get into this article it says from the title it's a dang ufo Mysterious object puzzles witnesses after blazing across Florida sky. And here's a picture of it. Okay. A trail of fire uh, leading behind it. <clears throat> it says here, eyewitness John Simmert shared photos and video of peculiar sighting. Beach walkers out to watch the first sunrise of 2020 were left bewildered by the sudden appearance by the sudden appearance of a mysterious flying object in the sky above Florida's east coast on New Year's Eve. Several early risers walking on beaches in the city of Fort Pierce were stunned to see an unexplained object streak across the sky in the moments before sunrise on Wednesday. As well as a fiery trail, the peculiar object also left a raft of questions in its wake as eyewitnesses struggled to comprehend what they had seen. Here's a closer, uh, here's a closer focus of the of the object, quote unquote. Okay. Here's a quote from uh, John Simmer. I knew what I was looking at was either a missile or a rocket. Witness John Simmer told local news outlet WPTV. What I couldn't understand was why was I seeing it in that area because there's no launch pads out in the ocean. Simmer, who was at the beach to photograph the first sunrise of the new year, 
shared footage of the strange occurrence on Facebook, asking his followers if they had ever seen a rocket that wasn't moving. <laughs> if they have ever seen a rocket that wasn't moving. It said, if that's a rocket, it's the world's slowest moving rocket. It's a dang UFO is what it is, he said. Now I would like to share this clip that he uploaded. And I'm going to play it. Ever see a rocket stand still? Oh, it's not moving. So that there's that. And then where is it? Oh, I can't pick it up with the camera. You say it's moving, it's moving awful slow. That's a rocket. That is the world's slowest moving rocket. It's a goddamn UFO is what it is. I'm trying to get the camera to focus on it now. that much. Hercules is barking. Okay, now that's the footage. And you heard the uh the man who uh gave the account of this. He said it's a, it's a UFO. Alright. I just want to finish out this article, then I'm going to grab a few, uh, a few precepts. It says, however, Sanford Manley, a former historian with the U.S. Strategic Air Command, poured cold water on Simmer's theory, claiming that what people actually saw was the contrail of a plane being illuminated by the rising sun. Now, that is, that, that is, that is a person trying to uh, cover up and trying to uh, persuade uh, what was uh, actually, these are people who try to throw doubt, okay? It's already been put out there by, by, the, by the Navy that these so-called UFOs are real, okay? But this is a person right here who is still trying to throw doubt and, uh, and um, persuade the mind of the individual who, who's seen it firsthand. Uh, it says the plane is very high catching the sunlight before the sun has come up. Therefore, it's glowing red, Manley said. He explained that the phenomenon typically occurs more often during sunset than sunrise. And that's BS. Now here's another picture. It says after Simmer appeared on local news stations, his daughter Melissa Crystal Simmer said that Facebook is fact-checking, fact-checking, Checking, excuse me, his photos. We think the government is on to him, she joked. Shit is crazy. What the F did my dad witness? Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you what he witnessed. What he witnessed was a chariot of the Heavenly Father. Okay. The so-called UFOs and what they now recently call them UAPs. Are vehicles of the heavens controlled by the uh, the holy hosts, which are the angels. Now these vehicles have been 
around since the beginning of time. These objects that are in the heavens were objects that picked up uh, forefathers such as Elijah, uh, Enoch, and ultimately our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Hamashayah. Okay? They're not UFOs. Okay, they're not unidentified aerial phenomenons. They are chariots of the Heavenly Father. Now what I would like to do is pull a scripture out of the book of Psalms. This is Psalm 68 and verse 17. It says, the chariots of God, I'm reading it verbatim. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai, in the holy place. Because when the children of Israel left out of Egypt, that cloud by day and that uh, 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 pillar of fire by night that led them, that was a so-called UFO. But in actuality, it was a chariot of the Heavenly Father. And in these last days, as the prophecies unfold, when the Heavenly Father's Son returns to this earth, waxing strong with the thousands of heaven, he is going to appear in the clouds, and those clouds are going to be chariots. And with the government are going to deem them as aliens and UFOs. But they are actually spiritual vehicles. Okay, being operated by the angels. They're going to come and set flames to this land and uh, certain lands across the earth. This is Isaiah. This is the prophet Isaiah, chapter 66. Verse 15. One moment. The prophet Isaiah chapter 66 verse 15. For behold, the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Okay, and as I said before, in these last days, man, the Heavenly Father is going to send fire upon this earth by way of His chariots. Okay? And the ultimate chariot is going to be led by His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah Hamashayak. So be prepared in this new year, 2020, the year of prophecy, to see more of these sightings. And pretty soon, they're going to be so evident that no government is going to be able to uh, uh, say otherwise. And pretty soon, you're going to have to be in physical confrontation with these vehicles. Alright? The Heavenly Father, Son, and the Holy Host of Heaven will soon make their appearance to usher in judgment. Shalom.